It is found in the Proverbs. Proverbs is the book of wisdom. What we need in the daytime is not a lot of hoop and holler. We need wisdom. We need teaching. We need instruction so that we can go out and be blessed and come in and be blessed. So I, I want to call your attention to the book that is called uh, Proverbs. And in Proverbs, would you, if you have your Bible, your phone tablets, your, 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 your thing on your phone, your app on your phone, whatever you have, it's important that you see the word as well as hear the word. Uh, it's just important. And from that, from that third chapter of Proverbs, we want to lift into your hearing just two verses. The third chapter, the fifth verse, and the sixth verse of Proverbs. It simply reads from the King James rendering, trust in the Lord. Trust in the Lord. And if you have a King James rendering, you will understand when you see the word Lord because the Lord is in capital letters, which is implying he's not the president, he's not some potentate, he's God of creation. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, with all your heart, and lean not unto thine understanding. Here it is. In all of all thy ways, in all of your ways, acknowledge him. And he, who the Lord will, direct thy paths. And notice that paths is just that. It's not one, it's path, it's many. And so I want to talk with you today, just trust the Lord. Just trust the Lord. Father, we thank you. We ask your blessings now upon your word that it might find its bullseye. Reach those that you desire to reach. Encourage and inspire all of us. Not by publicly, but by your truth. Inspire and encourage us, O oh God that we might live and prosper in this terrible and evil day. Thank you now for instructions. Amen. Trust the Lord. Very quickly, I want to tell you when all of us, many of us, and from a personal standpoint, I can give, give credence to it. So. I can say I, when I was a small kidlin, it, doesn't, it didn't matter how cold it was or what we didn't have at that moment in houses for us, food, clothing, whatever. I trusted the caretakers of my life to provide. Not one time can I remember uh, if we didn't have it then that we didn't have it at the end of the day. They provided for what we needed to survive in life as a child. I remember, maybe some of you don't, but I remember when there was meal in the bowel and grandma used to get up at the break of day and start the old cast iron frying skillet getting hot. I remember she would throw what we would call a whole cake or cornmeal pancakes, those kind of stuff in the pan and in the oven so that we might have enough to eat. It wasn't running to 
uh, Walmart uh, TriStar to retrieve a loaf of bread uh, off the shelf. They provided what God has blessed them with so that we would not go hungry. When we needed clothes, they saved uh, and got what we needed. And I'm not ashamed to say that some of the time it was secondhand stuff, but it wasn't abused. It had been washed, it had been cleaned, and I wore it. I didn't know what Chuck Taylor's All-Stars for, for younger people, uh, that's what they call. I didn't know what they were until I got in middle school. But I had enough fish heads <laughs> from one, from the age of me knowing up until uh, uh, junior high to understand what Chuck Taylor's was all about. They provided for us because we could not really provide for ourselves. They had the responsibility of caretaking. And as I said before, it did not matter how cold or how much snow, how hot or how insufficient air conditions, we had fans in the window, we stayed somewhat cool and we stayed somewhat warm because those that had the capability of, 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 of looking after uh, for us provided what they had to make sure uh, that would, they wouldn't suffer. Some of you remember that. I, I know that some of you backed up in the court and said, that was Dan. I ain't mad at you. I thank God for modern day stuff, but I haven't, forget, I haven't forgotten where I come from. I haven't forgotten that I had to eat white beans. I haven't forgotten that I had to eat bologna. I haven't forgotten that I had to eat whole cake bread. I haven't forgotten that because of that. I am appreciative what God has blessed us with now. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, 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 I'll tell you the truth, I, I didn't know what steak, and I didn't know what shrimp was until I got well in my teens. And then, and then I could somewhat pick up little jobs through the summertime to, to afford me the opportunity to go. And I tell you the, tell you the truth, when I, when I was like 15 years old, I didn't even know what a restaurant menu looked like. I didn't know, but thank God for the ability to learn. Thank God for the ability of somebody to teach you the importance of reading and writing. Thank God for our teachers, for our retired teachers. They are underprivileged, they are, they are overlooked many times. But do you know how hard it is in the school today to teach children that have not been taught at home? Do you understand how much energy is put into a, 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 a classroom settings with different spirits, with different ideas, with different upbringings and different, different this and different that to get them to a point that, hey, we are all in this boat together. Learn and appreciate what God has done then and what he is doing now. Learn and appreciate it. Do not take these things for granted. I remember y'all when grandma and mama and all of them used to come in the bedroom when we had fallen asleep at night and pull the cover up over our shoulders to make sure that everything was all right. Do you remember that? Do I have, a, do I have somebody? Now today, uh, we, got, we got blanket warmers. We can go to wherever we want and get goose down blankets and throw on them and call it quits. Thank God. 
And I ain't mad at them. I, I'm, I'm really glad, I'm happy that people today do not have to come up like I did when I was a youth. I, 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 I'm, glad at, I'm glad for that. I'm glad, really, I'm glad. But somebody, somebody had been teaching their children. And I can understand m m more readily now when grandmama and them used to say, boy, you don't understand now, but you keep living. You just keep on living. Understanding will come after a while. And sure enough, I am a testimony of that. When you're young and when you're spry and when you're all of that, you think the world is at your disposal. You click your hands and you got on magic shoes. Click your heels and you can fly. But once time goes on, you find out that that's fairy tale. That this life that we live in oftentimes is cruel and misunderstanding. Oftentimes you, you, you'll figure out that you will have more trouble in your day than, than you would ever imagine when you was young. I can understand the old, old men used to sit around the store and say, boy, you know what? If I were you, I want to stay young all the time. You ain't got to worry about paying no bills. You ain't got to worry about this and that. I didn't understand that then, but we understand that now, don't we? You, you don't have to worry about aches. You don't have to worry about pains. I didn't understand, I didn't understand that then, but we understand that now, don't we? And so it was some truth when David here is inspired, I mean, Solomon here is in this, encouraging, teaching, inspiring his son. And all that has been good, son, I need you to understand that your trust is in the Lord. Uh, that's why I need you to put your trust in. Why? Number one, simply people are people. You know, people blame people for this and people blame, I, I don't do that no more. People are people. And they are up and down. In other words, in other words, they can be with you today and against you tonight. I don't hear nobody. But it's true. They people. They, they, they people understand that, son. Don't get mad at the people. Get mad at the devil that influenced the people. Amen. Trust in the Lord. Trust in when? Trust him when things are good. Trust him when things are bad. Trust him when you don't know. Trust him when you don't see. Trust him when you don't understand. Trust in the Lord. Uh, not, not only that, here's where we get in trouble at. It says, with all your heart. In other words, with all your thinking. With all of your ability to articulate trust in the Lord. Trust in the Lord. And there are folk that put their their confidence in many things. They put their confidence in their bank accounts. They put their confidence in other people. But all of these things are temporal. They are temporal. I need you to understand they are temporal. You can be blessed today if you trust in the world system and curse tomorrow. You can go to your, your look, look, sometimes, shh, don't tell nobody. Let me, let me say this from experience. Some days, uh, there have been times when I, when I went to the bank and, 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 and done withdrawal, and it was no problem. I had the money in there. I know that I have access uh, to my account, to the bank, withdrawal. Go back the next day. You know you got the money in there. You know it. And you put your little card in the withdrawal slot, and it says insufficient funds are declined. Many of you have went to your bank teller or your store or your, or your favorite store. If you have not, God bless you. But I'm not the, that person that's been that blessed. I walked in and walked out scratching my head because I know it's there. But I just can't get it because I depended on a system that is not 100%. I depended on it to give me what I need. 
and when I needed it most, it let me down. But I got news for you. I, I don't re remember, I cannot remember whenever a time that God has let me down. Amen. And, 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 and the old folk taught us then, listen, son, you got to be patient and wait on God. Because he may not come when you want him to come, but I tell you, he's better than the telephone that you use to talk to your friend. He will show up just in the nick of time. Oh, yeah, trust in him with all your understanding, uh, with all of your, with all of your uh, brainy brain, with all of your schooling, with all of your insufficient, with all of your or whatever, still don't you lean to your own understanding. The understanding that, hey, I'm something and I'm somebody. And when I say pop, somebody else say go to weasel. But that's not all the way it's the truth. Sometimes when you say pop, they take out the nine and do it. Pop, pop, pop. Not with your understanding, but trust in the wisdom of God. It's the wisdom of God that will produce fruits in your life when the trees, when the fruit trees are barren. It's the wisdom of God that will lead you to spring waters when the wells are dry. It's the wisdom of God how to take, how, 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 that teaches you how to put just a cup of cornmeal and a little bit of flour together and make a flatjack. Trust in God. And lean not to your own understanding. Watch this. In all of your ways, and we do have some ways. I, I ain't hearing you, but we do. In all of your ways. You know there are times when we get up in the morning that we don't feel like nothing. And somebody say something to us. We don't mean to, but we, we, become, uh, we, become, uh, uh, <laughs> we become angry. And we launch out at an individual or individuals because we are people who are dealing with human emotions. We have feelings. Do I have a, do I have a witness? And sometimes we allow the feelings or the emotions to take control. We haven't thought it out. We haven't reasoned it out. Just somebody stomped us on our toe. And because of it, here we are. We're running off at the who is that right there? Who, who over there? Who is it? Urban, God bless you, man. Heard about your, your stuff. The Lord is good, isn't he? Huh? Keep, see? See, that's an example right there. Trusting in God will bring you back to a live and living way. Amen? Look, 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 look. What I'm trying to advocate to you is simply, we don't have time to point fingers at nobody. But we do have time to ask God for instructions. And in this, it's in our experience that, experiences that we learn how great God is. Amen? How many of you out here can say that you've been good all your life? How many of you can say you never made a mistake in your life? How many of you out here, I myself included, can say that all of my life I have dotted every I and crossed every T? Nobody. Because the scripture says we were born in sin, shaping in iniquity. But God has been so good to us that he looks beyond our faults, don't he? Oh, yes, he does. Oh, yes, he does. And before you know it, guess what? You're up on your feet one more time. Because that's how good God is. When we trust him, he will never let us down. When we lean on him, we will find him as a strong leaning post. When we are lacking understanding, the Bible says in James, if any man lacketh wisdom, let him ask of God who give it liberally and upbraid it not. And so if we trust in God, God, God will. God will beam down on you. 
and calls you to be the head and not the tail. Acknowledge him and he shall in all your ways and all of the things that is going on direct thy path. So, so then, again, uh, when I was growing up, maybe I shouldn't let the cat out of the bag, but in a good way. Uh, I've done a lot of wood in the woods exp exploring. I discovered that in the woods, there was many paths that lead in many different directions. <laughs> and, so, and so it was a, it was a common thing <coughs> for a path to lead directly to my house because that's how they traveled. A lot of times they weren't able to travel the road. They would get off the beaten path and travel in the woods. If you travel the road after the sun go down, for those of you can, that can remember, if you were caught out there, it would be best for you to stay at the house that you were uh, uh, until the sunlight came back up than to try to make it down the road that you traveled to get there. So I'm telling you, God directs your path. He gave uh, uh, the, the woods traveler the idea of making paths through the woods to cousin house and brother's house and sister's house and whoever house so, so, so that your life would not end from traveling the road. When I went in the woods, I found out there was many paths. The path I wanted to travel had come down to a why, 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 why with different lanes. And I was wondering, now with all of these paths, which path do I take? Because the path that I take is going to lead me somewhere, but where is it going to lead me? It was just the grace of God that I chose the right path to get to the place that I desired. But it always stuck in my mind that I'm traveling on one path, and all of a sudden there are many paths, many paths. And the, the path that you choose will dictate uh, 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 whether you will come out a winner or a loser. The path that we choose in life, let me tell you, there are many paths. But if you put God in front of the path, he will be the beginning light that guides you through. Uh, okay, let me come get you real quick and then let me go. Have you ever been walking down the path of trouble and God turned your trouble into a blessing. Have you ever, 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 ever been broke? I'm talking about you don't have no more than a dime or a quarter in your, in your pocket and no more than a couple of dollars in your bank account. But somehow, in some way, the path became a blessing to you. Have you ever been at a place where you had insufficient whatever and there was many paths before you, but you prayed before you occupied the path, and God made a way out of no way. I'm trying to tell you today that if you trust in the Lord with all of your heart and lean not to your own understanding, in all your ways acknowledge him, and he will, church, he will direct your path. Do I have a witness? One God, God is a good director. God is an awesome director. God is an on-time director. God is a right-now director. God will make the crooked straight, bring the lofty hills low, allow you who are at the bottom to sit at the top of the hill. Won't he make a way for you? Trust in the Lord with all of your heart. Trust him when it's good and trust him when it's bad and trust him when you don't know when or where or why or how. Trust God. He's the answer to all of the questions. He's the wind beneath our wings. He's the I and who I am. He's God, the creator of all things. And if you trust him, he will even make the line lay down and become a pillar for you. If you trust him, he will even put an air condition in a fiery furnace. And though it's, it's a thousand degrees on the inside, hey, you cool it out at 67 degrees, not worrying about anything. If you trust him, 
he will make your 1964 or 65 uh, a BMW run like a 2021 Cadillac. If you trust God, God will make a way somehow. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Uh, many of us, many of us are trusting, depending. We don't, we don't have anything else to do. We are limited in our ability to do anything. There, there, is, there are no limits in God. He's not restricted or restrained to time or elements. He's God. He made it, and it didn't make him. And all that put his, their trust in him, he will. And if not, like the three, three Hebrews say, he's able. And so how many of you trust in God today? Trust him. Trust him. We can't see. We can't, we can't, we can't uh, visualize. But God knows, and he will make a way of escape for us. I don't know in God we serve, church. No, no, matter, no matter what we have done, no matter what you go through, no matter who we are, no matter what, as long as you got life in your body, there's a God above your head. And when we seek him and acknowledge him as to and praise him for who he is, he will bring us through all right. And you'll have a better respect. You'll have a better worth of understanding of humankind. I, I, I've gotten to the point now, Dale, you can't afford to blame nobody. I'll point your fingers at nobody. You're made of the same stuff everybody else is made of. If not, you're alien. And the Bible said, with all of us, we are subject and capable. All of us. Even though we don't want to a lot of time, are making mistakes. That's what being human is about. But thank God for sending Jesus to erase us or to erase the mistakes that we make in life from the record book. Giving us a new leaf and causing us to stand up and be what God has called us to be. Don't look at me, look at yourself. I'm looking at me. But you check out yourself. You check out your record. And you will find out that every time that you sought God, God has always been by your side. Yes, you had to go through your trials, your tribulation, but God brought you through and brought you out because he's an awesome, merciful, wonderful God. Why don't you, why don't you blow your horns right there and thank him?